Oh. We're live. Okay, hello everybody and welcome. Oh, as you can see, I haven't taken Tom away, so he's still <laughs> there. <laughs> so here's my earworm today. Keith may pop in later, but um, Tom's going to hold the fort anyway without any problems at all. Oh, of so, course not, no. <laughs> yeah, so welcome everybody. Um, right, I'll put Tom back into the background. I think I can remember how to do that. There we are. Yeah, good job, good job. And, and we can still hear you, so that's all right. What we're planning to make today is, and I'm going to be a bit confused about it, so I apologise for that in advance, but we're going to be making an earring stand, which is something like the one that's just come. Oh, sorry about the flicker on the screen. Uh, we won't be using this camera very much. Um, it's going to be something like that one. That is a solid elm one made out of one piece of wood. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to make it out of four pieces, and it's going to be in in sweet chestnut, um, but but the sort of the vague idea is the same. It's going to have a bigger base than that because that was not very stable. Um, apart from that, it's sort of similar. Okay, so let's go over to the lathe and have a quick look. Um, but the first job we're going to be doing, I think, because it's on the lathe already, is drilling the holes. As you can see on 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 this this piece of timber, I'm going to unplug my the power from my headphones, but the battery went flat, so hopefully it's got enough charge. I'm sure somebody will shout at me or flash something if it goes dead. Um, no, you're still there. Good, excellent. Right, so this um, this this is this is it. And I think I need that one just to show you how we're drilling the holes. Drilling holes equally spaced around the outside of something is always interesting. Um, I think the last one I did, I, I marked it all out on the lathe using the, the indexing system, took it off, put it onto the pillar drill and drilled it. It's all right, but you can make inaccuracies that way. So I thought this time I would just try using the indexing system on the lathe and making up, I made up a skid which you can see here, that bit of timber underneath, which you can almost see, goes into the groove the groove between the two uh, bed bars, and it's made very precisely so that it fits. It's got a little wedge there just to take up the slack. It was actually made for my old lathe, which was narrower, but it, uh, it works. Yeah, Andy, you might have to go without the fan. It's quite distracting. Oh, is it? Oh, apologies. Right. That's a bummer, isn't it? There we are. It's gone. So that's 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 how it works. It's as simple as that. So I, I'm, what I have done is I haven't turned the lathe on yet, but the socket on the wall, because I know very well it's sheer habit to go to the switch, try and turn the lathe on, when actually what I mean to do is to start the cordless. This is going to be a bit noisy as well. But um, So I've, I haven't even plugged the lathe in, <laughs> so I all switched it on. My plan, if I go to another camera, I we had a long discussion with my friend Robin on the way back from Yandles on Saturday, and um, I wanted to do 24 holes. My lathe doesn't do 24 holes, it does 36. So I thought I could achieve 24. Robin thought I could achieve 24 by doing every doing two holes, miss one, two holes, miss one. As you can see around on, on there, you can just see that, yep. Um, so I think we'll try that. If I don't like it, we'll fill in the gaps. So just so you understand what I'm trying to do, trying to give it a bit more space, make it look not quite so uh, so crowded. Right, so we'll lock it in on the next hole. I've got a lamp light up here so I can see where I am on number six. Turn it to number seven. No, nope, we want number eight. Ah, just geez, there. Just dropped in, Andy. Oh, is it? Radio, thank you. Hi, Keith. I shall change that. We'll get to that one. That's better. Hello, Keith. Can you hear me? No, no we can't, can't hear you. Can't, can't hear you, Keith. Are you muted? Yeah, not yet. I, th I nearly heard you then. Keep trying. No. No, you're not coming through yet. I'll leave you to fight with that and I'll get on 
demonstrating. But I'm sure you'll make it. We're all right at our end anyway. So mm. yes, so that's now in position for the for the next hole, missing one and doing one. Round to the next one, which is going to be number nine, which is there. This is a bit tedious, I'm afraid. So I do apologise. Now we want number 11. Are you there yet, Keith? No? Doesn't seem to be. Nope, still can't hear you, Keith. Do you want to try refreshing? I'll see you in the background. And I'm sure we'll hear when you're working. Number 12. Number 14. Number 15. Number 17. Eighteen. Twenty. Still can't hear Keith. Twenty-one. Twenty-three. Nearly there. Twenty-seven. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Getting close to 36. So. I don't believe it. No, no way. I've got another battery over here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's charged. It's all happening today. All the excitement. I know Keith's not aware that I had a flat battery in my headset as well at the beginning. Hopefully. Mm. Well, that's going a bit faster. Right. Was that 32, 33? Yeah. That looks all right. So I thought I got that wrong for a minute, but I don't think I have. I must have started. Yeah, I started on 35, that's why. <laughs> Just to confuse me. Yeah. Right. Right, good. So that's as you can see, that's got all of those drilled. I think I, th I think I'll leave them in pairs like that. Um You can hear you'll... me now. Hello, oh. Keith. Hello, Keith. I'm Andy. You're, you're, you're all right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Bloody headphones, not me. <laughs> all right. Oh, somewhat similar to my problem, but yeah. I didn't want, to, didn't want to turn with the lead plugged in. Not really. <laughs> no. So, uh, but I might have to if, if it goes flat again. Um, anyway, so that's that's the holes drilled. I've deliberately drilled them all the way through, and I've deliberately drilled them before I've turned the, the timber because 
it tends to tear out at the bottom edge and and if i turn that away now i've got rid of all that tear out um so it's entirely deliberate policy so this was the this as keith hasn't seen that i'll let him see that because because it works this is the skid i made for doing the drilling I just did simply. see that. I've been sitting in the back some time, you see. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, so you saw yeah. that, yeah. But yeah. it works. It does the job. Good. I made it, for, made it for my old lathe um, mm -hmm. for making a bud vase, I think, some years ago with three holes in it that were angled. So you could mm -hmm. clamp it to that and turn it around. So anyway, that's, that's, that's for finished with that now. Hello, you, everybody. You've... Yes. Welcome to be sort of live. Enjoying <laughs> Andy and Tom. <laughs> It's sort of um, live, yeah. Yeah, rather and, than talking to myself. <laughs> and you saw that, presumably. That's sort of what we're aiming for. I've got yes. a sun, streak of sunlight across it now, which doesn't help. But No, don't worry about it. <laughs> but, um, but it's not going to be made like that. That was out of a three by three solid piece of elm. Um, I'm, in making, I'm making this one in four pieces. So, uh, so it won't look like that at all. Uh, and I should modify the design. I made that years ago, actually. In fact, I made two of them. I sold them both a long time ago. Uh, tail one, we'll go for that one. I think that should show what we're looking at. You've yeah. got 21 watching you, Andy. Lovely, but good, thank you. So, yes, those those bits of timber are going to be for the, the head, the uh, finial, that one, and that one for the, for the stem. And then there's another piece of wood somewhere on the drill, which is going to be for the base. But what I do, I'll start turning this one now, just to get it somewhere nearer the shape that we want. It's not going to be anywhere near as thick as this, but I want to try and get a bit of shape into it. So, oh, now I can plug my lathe in. We'll turn it on. Jay's cabin's just joined you. Make it rip. Looks like Richard at RJK has just joined. All right. Hello, Richard. Now, I've been very remiss because I've got my brand new glasses on, but I should have my safety glasses on because I picked them up this morning. So I shall wear them. So you might even see what you're doing now then, mate. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> Just mm. plain, plainly possible. <sighs> there we are. Safety glasses with side uh -huh. bits and everything. Lovely. That one. Right, so that's that's sort of that's round, rounded off. It's held on on a, a worm screw in the middle. Um dum -di dum dum dum. That, that hole can go all the way through now. Then I can turn it around on that, yeah. So I, I'm thinking my way through this. Apologies. I've had a very busy day today. And I haven't had a chance to think my way through things as thoroughly as I would have liked. But <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm, I'm still designing in my head, so apologies for the pauses. Can I have a little run through the participants? Yes, please, yes. Yeah. So, Sorry. Doug Miller, Gerard the French Turner, James Cabin, I've said hello already. Uh, Knox123, it's my friend Sean. Uh, Lawrence Bugasia, I think. Sorry, yep. that's yep. not right. Oscar Anderson. Richard at RJK, Robbo Robertson, Robert Dolman, 
Sidley 61 and YV Woodshed. Amongst That's Andrew. some others. Yes, there'll be people yeah. arriving all the time. Yeah, I think not all of them show up on the participants list. I think it's just ones with accounts, isn't it? I don't so know. De definitely less people on the list. According to the list, you've got 21 watching you. I don't think there was 21 there. So if if Tom's missed you, he does apologise, but he's a beginner at this. But I would have done the same if I'm honest. So I think everyone would have, yeah, <laughs> yeah. we would have all, all missed you. So um, just stick your name in again until we acknowledge you. John S. Casting. If anyone knows that, just dropped in. So if anyone's got any questions for Andy, Tom or myself to uh, try and answer, just put a few question marks in front of the uh, question or a few cues or whatever. Just highlight it so that we can possibly not miss it. I'm not going to guarantee that we won't miss it. That was 20. Did you shout out Chris Dodds? I don't um, think I did. It was in earlier. No, I think he dropped out of the list when I looked at it. Oh, Hello, he's Chris. An, he's an Aussie, so you've got to be careful of these. How deep's your uh, worm screw in then, Andy? Um, I've taken it in 20 mil. So I'm just going to work out exactly how deep I can go with this. I was thinking of that, Keith, but thank you for reminding me. <laughs> but no, I, I had, I had that's, that's why I just popped over to the drill press to see what I set it to. Mm. Set, it was set to 20 mil, so. I think we've all done that. Oh, it's easily done. Um, if I could find me a ruler, I'd be even better off, but never mind, there must be another one in there. an absolute shambles I've got so many rulers around it's ridiculous that was that's 30 mil so I can go in I can go in 10 then because I want to put this the screw in the worm screw in from this side um, I think it's going to be the simplest what size is your worm screw hole? It's this size. <laughs> I think it's okay, eight and a yeah. half. <laughs> Works quite well. I found eight wasn't big enough. So I didn't, didn't look to see where I was starting. Come on, Heath. Get, get your brain in gear. If you had one, it would be helpful. Those shavings are shiny. It must be the metal. <laughs> yeah, it's just about there. <laughs> That's one way of finding out. Right, so um, that's going to be the sort of size for that. I'll take it a little bit, little bit smaller because the finial is going to sit on top of there. Obviously, that's going to be drilled out to 10 mil, the hole in the middle. Um, so I shall have a, a 10 mil. If you're putting a worm screw in there, I wouldn't go too fine. Sorry. Well, if you're going to... No, 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 no. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to... You're going to reverse it onto that, with that hole? Yeah, yeah, that's right, with that hole. Yeah. But in fact, so I'm I only going to... I'm too much else. No, I'm only going to take another millimetre or so. It's, okay. It's, it's just about exactly the width of this bit of timber. Mm -hmm. So I just want enough to be able to turn the two together. Um, at, at some point, so I'll just take a little bit more off it. Ben Jamin's dropped in as well. Hello, Ben.
this really is flying by the seat of my pants. I'm designing it as I go. It's a long time since I've done one of these. It's good for me. Brings it all back. Right, that should do that. I think we want a little bit off the outside because those holes are not quite near enough to the edge. <coughs> I think she could have difficulty putting her earrings onto it. It'll all be rounded off by the time I sanded it anyway. But that's better. I've just got to get rid of that ridge. That's all. just to get that out of the way. quite sure how I'm going to finish this yet because <clears throat> I'm going to hold a straw poll see what people think see what the public would like what's the word then Andy it's a sweet chestnut so it's, it's a bit bland yes so yeah. so let's so let's discuss Actually, that's, that's not too bad it's 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 got a bit of interest to it, but not a great deal. Mm. So the options really are, we could just finish it, leave it natural, or we can color it. And we can color it in a couple of different ways. One would be to, to black ebonize, lacquer it, and use Joe Sonia paints on the whole thing. Or we could just use chestnut um, wood dyes and perhaps blend from light blue to dark blue or something, or reds or whatever, um, from bottom to top. So those are the choices. So the first choice is do we leave it natural or do we colour it? Let's let's see you see your comments in the in the in the chat and see what you decide because that will decide whether I use uh, Yorkshire grit or not. Steve Scott's just popped in. Hi everybody. Hi, Steve. Personally, I wouldn't go black. Well, the Joe Sonia doesn't work without black, does it? No, but I, I think it's too small and a delicate item to go to go black or dark. Yeah, you're not going to see the black because I would cover it completely in blue or 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 the the scarlet one, whatever the colour is. So you know, don't don't be too let off put by that. Yeah, there's a lot of colour coming in. Okay. Yeah. Use meths on it to see the grain first. Robo suggesting I could do that. I've got some somewhere. There it is. Yeah. You haven't <sighs> drunk on it all yet, then. I can't reach it. <laughs> I need to grow, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's taller than I am. The expert in growing, am I? <laughs> right. That's it. I got it. 
Okay, well, we'll give it a quick wipe, see what the grain's like. You have to look quickly because it's going to dry very quickly this weather. But that's that's the the grain colour. Can you see that? Hello. What's going on? It stopped. It stopped moving. Frozen, eh? well, I think it has. Frozen. It has. Swine. Yeah. Oh, that one's too bright. Hmm. Go back to the other one. See if it's working. Yeah, it might be working now. Yeah. It's my new camera. It's not allowed to go wrong. Yeah, that's, that's working. There we go. So that's that's the grain, um, which I could, if we did, black ebonize and Joe Sonia, I could actually rub some some gilt wax in into the grain because it's that sort of. It's a bit like ash. It's that sort of grain. Not quite as pronounced as ash. Is not it? quite as pronounced. No, but it's but there's there, there, I think there's there's sufficient there for it to to have an effect, but. So what's what are we how are we doing on the on the straw poll? Yeah, got a couple of frozen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all colour. It's all yeah. colour. Okay. Yeah. Right. So the next question is do we do it with wood dye or do we do it with Joe Sonia paints? Let's have your answers to that. I like all this. Make have a decisions made for me. Robbo saying, "Can you can you wax some meths on it again? Because he, yep. he's not yep. high yet." <laughs> there you go, Robbo. Special extra amount for you. Does that show? Yes, it does. Yeah, you can see it now. It's got some quite nice bits in it. Mm. It's not. It's not the least boring piece of of, of chestnut horse chestnut a uh, sweet chestnut I've ever seen. And what what sort of stains have you got, Andy? What colours? Yeah. If I can get the drawer open, yes, I can. That's not that high, is it? Some some it's blocking the top drawer. That's better. Right, we've got royal blue. Oh, another royal blue. Yellow, orange. Another royal blue, good lord, and blue, and green, and red, red to match the one on the floor, and that's those, oh no, there's more here, golden oak, oh that's their uh, wood, right, purple, white, white doesn't work, and black. So those are the choices of colours. The Joe Sonia. If we go if we go that route to go over the black, I've got green, violet, blue, gold, red, hey ho, turquoise. That's it. Well, I'm going to um, agree with Robbo on this one. Yeah, um, just, what's he, what's he fin, just the finial and the stem. Just the finial and the stem. Yep, I, I, that was another option was, was to actually do that. Yeah, if yeah. people like that idea, we can do that. Well, I think the uh, that will then um, highlight the the base and the hanging area sure. better. Sure, sure. And that really means mm -hmm. I want to finish them before I put them together, doesn't it? Would make life easier. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which is not a problem. So, so we're gonna. Polish the base and the and the and the and the, the the working piece, piece with the holes in it. Finish those in, in natural. And well, then you've got two options on that, Andy. If you've got um, you've got an oak stain, you say you I could have. Um, you could dye that down slightly oaky to darken, darken, it, darken it, a bit. it down a yeah, bit. Yeah, indeed. Don't know what um, I did with it. Or you I could leave have. it natural. That's right. So oh God, there's too many options. Yeah, well, you, you give us the options, you see. <laughs> it's a golden oak, so it should actually be quite nice. It won't be too too it heavy. Won't be too heavy, yeah. Okay. So, base and top and bit. Robbo's agreeing with me on this one. You could Good. dye it down 
um, just kill the whiteness of it. Yeah, the absolutely. Lightness yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, which yeah. is which is sort of why I was thinking we'd do something with colour on it. I know this mm. is all sounding sounding quite interesting. So golden oak for the top of the middle, top of the bottom, or the middle and the bottom, and and then black ebonising on the the stem and the finial with Joe Sonia. Um, we'll talk about colours of that in a minute as well. Well, it depends on the shape of the finial as to how how much or whether you colour that or whether you just uh, brush yeah, it out true. and put some true. milk cream in it. And if I'm honest, I have absolutely no idea what shape that's going to be. Mm -hmm. It'll turn it'll turn out to something or other. <laughs> right, so put those away, and the Joe Sonia will decide later. They can go back in the drawer. Good. It's nice having them organised, though. Steve, uh, Steve Scott, I did see your message, but it was uh, right at the beginning of a conversation. And yes, the boys have got it right for you. Um, cross grain you want for a glue block. Glue oh, chuck. yes, I, I did see that there. Yeah. yeah. OK, so this is going to be stained. So I want to take it a bit finer and do the staining before I put. Can you stay it over Yorkshire grit? Not very really easily. Not really, no, no. You've okay. got to wipe it back with meth, so if you yeah, can go no. down to 400. I'll stain it. I'll, I'll sand it to 400. And, in fact, I think we think we got there. I'll do, I'll do it with 400 anyway to make sure. And um, and then I can stain it up, turn it around, finish the underneath. Then that's, that bit's, apart from drilling, it's done, isn't it? Right. God, I'm such a muddle today. I don't know what I'm doing. It's an earring stand, mate. It's the excitement of going to get my new glasses. Yeah, and then working. And and then going up to uh, men's sheds. Up oh, yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. Yep. Tom Tom was with me, just to see how they how they operate and give us ideas for the future of our one in Pulborough. So, yeah, I gather there's the one idea starting. being here: large shed. Yes, that's some space. I gather there's one starting in your neck of the woods, Keith. Well, they're trying to get one, but it seems, keeps going quiet because uh, where apparently they wanted it, um, that's part of a development now. So uh, I'm not right. quite sure that's going to happen. Um, no, no. Okay. But there's, they're springing up all over the place, which is rather nice. Uh, Steve, Steve Scott is Tom in the chat. Tom, Tom, who? Tom on with me? Me? Is it, well, I've said hello in the chat. If it was me, yeah, <laughs> can't remember who other Toms we've got in here. Tom Copus. Yes, it Tom must have Copus. been. Yes, he's he's yeah. he's earworming. If it wasn't me, hello anyway. Ben Jamin's got a drink problem. Problem, problem with men's shed is they never have a bar. Drink probably keeps spilling it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they were very generous with tea and coffee this morning. First things first, you know, cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. They're a nice crowd. They're there just because they want to be there. Yeah. Just take the worst of that off. Yeah, it's not great, but I can tidy that up afterwards, if necessary. Okay, um, no, I don't need that. I've got your... Oh, excuse yours, me. Keith. I'll cut it tomorrow. Yeah. Can deliver that tomorrow. Yeah, I'll bring it tomorrow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, Golden Oak. Let's see how that goes. That's not one I've used. Actually, All right. It was for you then, Tom, because it's a technical... <laughs> Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Apple M1 iPad Pro. Oh. Do you know what? Before I answer that, I'm going to look up the price of it because that's the one thing I don't know. Because a lot of Apple stuff is based on whether it's worth the money. Well, I don't think anything that's is it. worth the money, but you've got to pay the going price. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. if you want to use it. Yeah. I mean, if... If that's something you need and you've got the money for it, it'll be excellent. It's, it sounds as though it's very expensive. Uh, this, the larger one starts at £1,000. Uh -huh. 
Oh, yeah, nine, nine, nine. Yeah, I think enjoy two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if that's something that will be useful, then it's probably worth the money. But it's yeah, it's. If it's only to products. sit in, yeah. If it's only to sit in the shed and get dusty, um, I would say go for something else. Something a bit more hardcore, I think. Yeah. Yeah. David cheaper. Miller's just jo joined us. Um, you, I could, if I it's could for go. the workshop, um, Steve, give me a shout because I got mine and Andy got his through Amazon and they're reconditioned. They're brand new but reconditioned because there was a. A small manufacturing fault on them, and mine costs on less than 120. Yeah, mine was a bit more, I think, but yours yeah. was a bit more. Mm. But it, it, it it's very good. I mean, it works, does everything I want it to do. Mm. Um, right, so I could Yorkshire grip that now, can't I? Gently you can if it's lifted the grain a bit. No, it's fine. Yeah. I'll do it just to, put, just to get it. I mean, I've only gone up 400. I can go a bit higher than that, can't I? So, mm. so uh, it certainly bought the uh, grey now, anyway. It has. Yeah, that's nice, actually. I like that now. I'm glad we did that. Not too in your face and not too insipid. No. That's absolutely what I was after, which is why I was thinking of colouring it, because I was just looking at those um, letter opening knives that we did mm -hmm. oh, way back when. And they just, they just bought it. Oh, Rob was saying no Yorkie grit. No Yorkie grit? Yeah. Why's that then? Well, you'd probably take off the... It would take a, a small smidgen off, yeah. Okay, mm. I won't do it then. See if I care. Um, what about the, the micro microphone abrasive paste? Would that, that would be more gentle, wouldn't it? I think I would just burnish in wax, if it was me. If it's <sighs> not lifted the grain. Got microcrystalline wax. Cut off Chestnut. with something like wood wax twenty two, and then well, uh, you can always go over it I with microcrystalline. Got, I haven't got wood wax twenty two. I've got speedy friction polish from Yandles. Never guess where I, where I bought that from. And Robbo's <laughs> saying no wax either. No wax give either. Us, give us a clue, Robbo. Yeah, give us a clue. What am I going to do with it? <laughs> yeah. CIA so. over the top of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not a principle there. <laughs> I could just spray lacquer on it. I mean, oh, it might dear. be the answer to the whole thing. Spray the whole thing when it's done. Yeah. Yes, I can. I can do it then, can I? It doesn't doesn't matter yet. So I will put the Yorkshire git away. <laughs> Thank you, Robo. I'm sure you saved me some hassle in the long term, long run. Yeah, I'll find this. Eight and a half mil drill bit just leaves enough for it to grip, but I can actually get it on and off. Has have you gone all the way through before you put it on? Yeah. Oh, because you're only fun. ten mil in. <laughs> it's pretty blooming close. Where's the drill bit gone? There it is. It has now. It the, the hole was all the way through. It just wasn't. A little bit of fluff around the edges. I think it would have eaten its way through, to be honest, but it's done now. We're safe. Better safe than sorry. I'm just going to hollow this out a little bit. Mm -hmm. and I've got a question from Gerard. Mm -hmm. I think it was me saying microfine instead of microcrystalline. All right. Which is what I meant to say. So you you would wax twenty two over what you want to, and you can then put on a a non finger marking finish with the microcrystalline, not microfine Yorkshire right. grit. So hopefully that uh, explains what I didn't explain very well just now. Apparently, I've got some bry wax. I've got some National Trust wax. I haven't got the one you're talking about. No, don't worry about it. You um, cellulose it, mate, after it's finished. Yeah, cut and polish I've got for chestnut. I've got Hampshire yeah. sheen crystal, microcrystal, and that's it, I think. Terry anyway. Hooper's just got out of bed to watch us. Good afternoon, Terry. Hi, mate. 
uh, Steve, I was just going to put a link in the chat from a website called CEX. They do like secondhand technology and stuff. There's a load of options on there, and you get two year warranty, so that might be better than looking at a new one. Lewis is in Bondite Craftsman. Thinner, I think. That's better. That's better. Can you see that? No, you can't really, can you? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Still, still, still a bit chunky. Yeah, I might take a little bit more off that. Go on, talk yourself into it. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Robbo's going to go thinner as well. Was he? Yeah, so I think he's got a long-handled chisel over there, long-handled gouge that he can reach. Uh-huh. Is that better? That's better, isn't it? Some have rounded that bot bottom bit off. So you've got a, um, a spigot to go in for the finial, and you've got a spigot to go in yep. for the center. For the stem, yep. So you could actually take that center out a bit more, lose a bit more weight off out of it. I could do, yeah, yeah, could do. Well, all I'm thinking of, if you're not careful, you're going to be top heavy. Yes, I haven't really decided what what. I've got a bigger base for it. Um, just to, to add, I've got a piece of 150 mil timber for the base, which I can mm -hmm. cut down as far as I need to to make it a bit more stable. So, but yes, I can I can take more off there. That's no problem at all. As long as you leave leave 20 mil from, or you almost touch the screw chuck, you're going to be okay. Yes, true, true, and I can probably see that. Yes, I can. It's quite it's a good way. It's about 10, 15 million there. Yeah. Because so this screw chuck, I did get, get well. this cut down. Yeah. This, the screw chuck, the screw chuck. You don't need to go in the corner, Douglas. No, we'll let you off. And I think I won't even attempt to leave a piece sticking out. I should just cut it flat. Slightly concave it. Slightly, yeah. Terry, I'm much the same. It's a lot easier to put a name and a face together. Um, I think 90% of the guys on here I only know through YouTube. I've never seen them. I wouldn't know them if they stood in front of me. No, that's right. It's quite interesting. Could you feel as though you know them quite well? Yes. That's as far as I want to go because I need to have enough to get the two in with enough to hold it. So that's 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 looking good. You can't, I can't get that to show, can I? Perhaps I can with that one. No, yeah, that's not bad. That. 
You can't uh, see the hollow, can you? But yeah, but no, uh, yeah, you can see it's dished. Can you? Oh, good. Right. Yeah. Well, I can because I got twisted eyes. <laughs> I think that's fine. So we'll just sand that a bit, then that bit's finished. Time, time I finish something, it's quarter to two. Yeah. Lewis is saying some names are better without a face. There you go. <laughs> That's the sort of humbug I like. Is referring to club members. Well, there's only there's only the three of us in here, I think, today. All right, Andy, yeah. myself, and you, Terry. I don't think there's any cl other club members in here. Until I get Tom working on a life. Yeah. I mean, it's about time, isn't it? I'll get there. You got a, a a place you can hide it, then, Tom. You got to get a decent garage, decent shed. No, not really. That's the problem. Still living with family, so. Uh, uh, yeah, we got a good size garden. Now. Now. Yeah, chuck That's me true. on there now. Build my own shed. Yeah. yeah. They've got swapped over. Oh well, I've done one AC already. Then. <laughs> I thought that was a bit fine. Let's put the, the sucky uppy thing. Now I think I've seen you, Richard, on uh, Facebook. So I've seen a mugshot of you. Chris, is that Robbo's uh, secret fetish? Earrings. No, he's not going to admit to it anyway. <laughs> Hello, Douglas. Nice to see you. It's hot. Mm. What do I do with that? Oh, there it is. You're going to mess it up off. first to get rid of the dust. Yep. Yes, it's getting very warm in here because I've got the door shut to keep the light out. The blinds are like acting like radiators. The fan is too noisy, so I've turned that off. Cool. Well, let's open the door. I don't think it's going to be that bad, is it? It's not going to bleach out see. over there. Let's try and see. Is that any worse? I think it was when I was sitting there. This was in behind me, but it's, I'm not going to do that very much. So, time you've got your big body there. I mean, you're standing there. <laughs> <laughs> or, or what you said first, yeah. <laughs> Blended out of all the holes anyway. I personally think that's better. Is drill it? two, one. Drill two, miss one. I, I quite like it, and and it's it's designed for pairs of earrings, isn't it? So there's a logic to it, sort of. Oh dear. Robo, it's just got to twenty-seven. On my phone, Degre degrees Celsius. To oh, really? Sure. Yeah, twenty-seven. Yeah, I didn't and look Doug on the way in. Douglas Sorry. asked how I got into this mad group. It's my fault. Yeah, yeah it's all Andy. Anybody no who knows man. the Heaths knows yeah. that they get dragged into anything that we're doing. It's become a tradition yeah. now. Known Andy far too long now. And my wife yeah. was your head your head teacher, wasn't she? Yeah, she was for four, seven years, I think. And and your mum took over from her? Well, not quite directly, but nearly. Yeah, yeah close enough. And your she yeah. has got daughter to your two sisters. So there's lots of contact there. Yeah, there is a lot going on there. Yeah, through Andy, basically, is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah, not quite through the wood turning. It's more of a friend of yeah. Andy thing for now 
lifelong friend, basically. Yes, I mean, yes, Tom. yes, it is really. Yeah. Known him since he was nothing. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're if something, you know, Tom. <laughs> if you know what well, I mean. I have a purpose now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. not just the twinkle in the old man's eye now. <laughs> and sometime when you've got time, Tom, my speaker's not working in my computer. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. I have to use my headphones all the time. My headset. That's rather nice underneath. Pity it's underneath, really. Robo's uh, saying he's just the reverse. They've got to have heaters on now. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that that's quite brings out the grain, doesn't that's it? That's quite attractive, isn't it? I like that. Yeah. 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 I've done that before on uh, Sweet mm. Chestnut. It's so boring before that is done. Well, the only thing I've got to do on there, really, is to drill that out to 10 mil. I have to do that on the pillar drill, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I can hold it. I can hold it. Around the outside later on. Not bothered now. So we'll stick that over there out of the way and we'll get on with the base. Yeah, Douglas, Andy is quite the bad influence, don't worry. <laughs> over the years. I uh, do my Andy, best. He's taught, do. Taught, taught, taught me a lot over the years. Not all of it good. <laughs> now he's, he's the re reason my technology knowledge started, I think. Well, you've certainly done got way beyond me now on your the um, sound systems and lighting. Yeah, well, that, that was start somewhere. That was the first contact, wasn't it? Really, was the lighting. Yeah, I used to do quite a bit for the church and other other bodies, and uh, Tom came along to help me. Mm. Silly, Robo silly, has come up with silly. the right idea there, Andy. And um, rather yeah, than prattle around with a ten mil drill, why don't you put the uh, put a tenon on to fit the hole? Because it's a very untidy hole, because it had the thread in it. So I was just going to clean it up with the 10 mil bit. But yeah, I, whatever, whatever works, to be honest. But this one I want to go through just the 20 mil, I think. Because I'm going to put a. Oliver Reed is in. Is that one of your mates, Tom? Yeah, he's one of my friends. He's up in right. Scotland at the moment. He's gone up Good. to... Good. Um, it's, not, it's not the original Oliver Reed, then. No. Was there another one? <laughs> there was. Yes, he was He was a bit famous up at your your school, Tom, a few yeah. years ago when I was when I was teaching there. <laughs> he ran off with a sixth former. Oh. The I Oliver she Reed. Ran, she ran off with him, didn't she? Well, yeah, I think she did. And, his, and her yeah. mum married the head teacher. Oh, it's so quite a lot going on there. That's an interesting <laughs> tapestry well, of a story. Yeah, but we yeah. had the press, the press camped outside the school and all sorts. So, so yeah. it's for everybody else's information. I used to teach at the school. I teach taught woodwork at the school that Tom's at, doing his A levels. Yeah. Yes, and he was mm. a bit of a, a drunkard, bit of a boy. Yeah, well, a bit of a lived, boy. Yeah, lived up at yes. Rushford, didn't he? I think. He lived just the um, no. He lived at Cold Harbour. Was it? Yeah. Because he used to drink in the two pubs at Ockley, and whichever one would let him in at the time. Yeah. I got to know him at uh, what was then the not the cricket is the one down the road from it. I can't remember now. It's a long time ago. It's not even a pub now. What, the Wisdom Green one? No. 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 Um, Ockley. Oh, right. What's the big one on the front of the road before the cricketers going up there? Yeah, op op opposite the green. No. No. I'm in the wrong village, aren't I? Yeah, the right village, but there were three in there. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, we used to, when I was on the local brewery, we used to deliver to uh, the pub, and we always got there just before lunchtime. And the first thing we got was a pint brought out to us because you could drink in them days. Um, yeah. Ollie's inside. Have a drink with him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three pints later, most times. Yeah. Nice guy. Got to keep on the right side of him, though. 
He was a boy. He was a lad. Oh, wasn't he just? Oscar says right. he would, uh, his mother recalls the sick former hopping in the back of Oliver Reed's car with the press all around the gates. Yeah, oh, right, yeah, yeah. And they were there for several weeks after that as well, yeah. Really? We were t forbidden to speak to them. Oh. Not altogether surprisingly. Twisted Pete's in from the trees. Hello, Pete. Hello, Pete. Gave yesterday a miss. Out all day Sunday. At the weekend. So I hope the weather holds. Yeah. Well, I did the did the museum workshop on Sunday. That was hot. And quite yeah, I'll bet. a reasonable thoroughfare. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Not manic, but that was good because it was warm. So I had two. Two hooligans from the top down there. It's more than enough. A bit generous there. So what's the depth of that blank? 35, I think. I'd almost be inclined to leave it full depth. I was wondering, I, I, was, I was going to wait until I turned it round. Mm. I was going to have a look at it and start shaping it and see how it looks. Yeah. It doesn't really look too clumsy, but on the other hand, it would give it a bit of weight at the bottom, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. Crab haven't, made my, haven't made my oh. little chisel yet, so... I'm still on the skew. Okay. I will do that. Oh, no, I haven't. Have I? Yes, I have. Uh, yeah, I can just glass paper that little bit, can't I? Won't, won't do any harm. All right, Robbo's come up with a suggestion, something similar to what I was thinking. When you've turned it round, you could actually make that a bowl that's for exactly rings, what I had in mind. rings yeah, and that's accessories. What, yeah. That's what I had in mind. Yep, yep, that was always my intention. So I'm glad everybody's agreeing. That's that's good news. Telepathic <coughs> messages going out today. <clears throat> No, it just seems to make sense. I've got, got a piece of timber that thick. I might as well use the fact that it's that thick and make something of it. Because you can reduce the edge to make it look lighter yeah. if necessary. Absolutely. Yeah, great minds, Robbo. That's about it. In that case, there were three of us. It's a yeah. worry, isn't it? Frightening. Particularly when one's well and truly over the pond, over the pond, over the pond. Yes. It's <laughs> very nice of you to drop in, Robbo. I'm pleased to see you. Well, I think it's too getting cold in his workshop, so he's indoors warming up. <laughs> yeah, don't blame me. Re reading between the lines earlier on. <laughs> yeah, it is, he says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not quite, no, it's not quite flat enough. I think it might interfere. You could dish that marginally, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, it's, it's actually the other way, though. It's con convex. Yeah. Con yeah. But you don't want, don't want that. I was trying to avoid hitting the, the end of the, the screw. But I think that's well enough out of the way. Douglas, no. Um, 
You're thinking of Arundel Castle, which is about four miles down the road from Amberley Museum. I know it well. Yeah, Arundel's quite a big town. With the castle spent, there on the river. Spent we 35 are, years working at the yeah. festival in the castle. Yeah, Every we are summer. just a, a very little village just up the road from there. And we just happened to have, in the past, a chalk pit. And the chalk pit used to produce lime. So that's... And if you've seen the Jones... Seen Go the on. James Bond film, you'd have seen it. Yeah. Which one yeah, is I'm it? Sorry. Um you only live twice, and that You only live twice, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Um that features Aaron Amberley Museum. The underground cave with the miniature railway that ran through and out it was actually um the miniature railway or the um it's not miniature, is it? It's uh, no, small gauge, isn't it, or something? Yeah, third size. I, I'm not. I'm not into railways, but that's the rail. That's the railway that we've got there still. That's part of it. We've still got the entrance to the um, what was the mine, and it's still got the original sign from when the film was made. It's still hanging on the face of the the cliff above it. Oh, really? I haven't walked down that way for a very long time now. Yeah? But it, well, it was there last year, and I don't know that it's been taken off. I, ca I don't think anyone would dare. No, no take reason it why off. anybody would do. Really, is there? I suppose. No, no it's, it's history. And later on this year, all things being well, we have a James Bond weekend, and that is the twenty fifth, twenty sixth of September, and that's at Amberley Museum. It's a lovely place to go. You'll see all sorts of things of interest. Wood turning being just part of it. Tool and Trades History Society being another part that I'm in. It's a fascinating place for all ages. And it's not just a half a day visit. It's oh, no. a full day. Or three or four and, if you've got them. Yeah, and it, you won't get all through it in one day either. Nope. Right, so a bit of brown stuff. There's the link for Amberley Museum. If everyone would like to, or anyone would like to pop over and have a look, see what we're, we're talking about. Um, I know we go on about it, but it really is worth a visit. We've... We hire it, we'll re-rent it from the um, Horsham Council at a peppercorn rent. I believe we've just extended their rental period so that we've got it for another 150 years. So it's going to be something that's not um, here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, it was always Isn't intended it? to be as permanent well, as it could be, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it's much the same as Beamish, Richard. Um, it's industrial. It it's a, it's an awkward one to explain because the the wood turners and the blacksmiths were sort of ancillary workers on site, but uh, they needed a blacksmith on site. They needed possibly a carpenter that had lathe skills on site for turning um, parts of wheels, pulley systems for moving the, the stuff around. So um, it's an awkward one to sort of actually pinpoint, but we are the only industrial museum in the south of England. We've got 36 acres, but like I say, I would thoroughly suggest you have a look at it, even if you don't ever get down this way. You you will know what we're 
talking about and you can appreciate um andy and my um interest in it and uh, enthusiasm, enthusiasm for, for it, it. Yeah. yes right yeah yeah it sort of gets yeah. to you doesn't it <laughs> Yeah, and if anyone wants to get there and they don't have transport, if you can get on the um, Portsmouth line train, it stops right outside. Uh, what have you got? Couldn't, you got a 200 metre walk? Couldn't be any flat? closer, really, because no. the car park is directly outside the station. So you walk just as far if you come by car. Right, now then. Right. Oof, got them all. Um, is it anything like Boomy Show? It's all right, I was just catching up on the chat because I went over right, a lot. Yeah. 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 Robbo saying he's had two frosts so far. I think we've only, we've only just stopped having them. <laughs> and he's got rid of the last frost. Richard was taken from the likes of Beamish. Um, it's laid out not as a a village. All, it's all independent components floating around. Um, stick makers, the um, us as the wood turners, the um, besom broom maker that we used to have on site. Um, bits and pieces like that. We've got a, um, a brick That's display. Now, yeah, a brick display. Although we didn't make many bricks, but just up the road from us at Fakem, they had a brick and tile manufacturer in place because um, they were more sand against us being ch um, chalk. And we have also um, on our narrow gauge railway, we've got one or two of the that they used to use for shunting around the brickworks. So we we are fairly local. We have our own is it one or two steam trains, Andy. I know we've definitely got one, one at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. it's only one. We've only got so one that's running, but we've got a second got... one that uh, needs a lot of money spent on yes, it. So yes. we're trying to fundraise. I think we're getting there. We've got the boiler back, and they've, they've done, done a, a lot of work on it, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, they've done a wet test on it, but they haven't done a, um, a pressure test on it yet, a steam test on it yet. And it's all the steam tests and bits and pieces like that that really cost the money. Right. Now then. you need the inspector to come down to te test it wet. You need um, to come back Ooh, to test yeah. it under pressure. And something like that takes three hours to get up to steam. So it's not it, it's a lot of time involved and a lot of expenses involved. Mark, the gentleman's just dropped in. He's apologising for being late. Hello, Mark. Hi, Mark. So you've got 22 still watching you, Andy. What you had in mind, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. Dish at the bottom, yeah. Yeah, are you going to um, put a bead on the side rather than have it flat? What, there? On the we're, outside. We're, on the outside here? Yeah. At the top? Well, anywhere. A third up or a third down? I could do. I hadn't thought Just of give it a little bit of interest. Rough. Ooh, that's horrible. Good job we can't see it with your head in the way. 
<laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I've got some work to got some work to do on that bit. Um, out, out comes the forty grit. <laughs> Only a thought that is, um, rather than keeping it yeah. parallel. I've actually got a special tool for doing that. I've got no idea where it is. It is, Steve, but they have to be registered to uh, do the testing. We have got many volunteers that are capable of testing it, but they can't sign it off. And for insurance reasons, it needs to be signed off. Oh, I do it with a, I do it with a little gouge. Terry's saying there's a restaurant there as well. I can vouch for the restaurant. It's good. Yeah. Good stuff. What I there. will do is say that it is no longer a restaurant. It is a cafe. Um, but the food is still brilliant. You wouldn't know the difference between a restaurant and a cafe. But, uh, we are now classified as a cafe. Are they still running a bus service around the museum as well? Yeah. Yeah. What have we got? Five, six, six or seven vintage buses. Must be, yeah. Of the, um, most of them are... Um, South Down. Down. Yeah, because South Down being the local to us. The national park that we're in. Yes, we're all in the South Downs National Park. Something like that, you mean? Can't see the profile, but yes, no, I think so. Well. Just as well, really. I know you, you can't, can you? Uh -huh. Can't really see it on there either. You can see it that's more. about the best. Yeah, that's better. Uh, yeah, best you can get in it. Yep. Yeah. It's um, it's a bit smaller. It's a bit pointed. Oh, it's a long time since I've done any of them. <laughs> Douglas, it's been a couple of years since I've been in there, but uh, when I go to a cafe, I mean, make sure you've got to try out plenty of stuff. Usually, a choice of um, three or four hot meals if uh, if and when we've got a chef in, which isn't always. So, but all every every weekend there is, and yeah, they had I them last 90, Thursday. Yeah, ninety five percent of the time we're covered with a with a chef. Right, I think I'm going to sand that. Yeah, Robbo said that will fix it. The sanding. Sorry? Robbo said yeah. the sanding will fix it. Absolutely. So the champagne bottle you're turning, Mark, are you hollowing that out so that it will take a liquid? Steve Scott, the instructions will be with the kits you buy for pepper mills. I think they're all a press fit or a, a push lock fit. I don't think 
Yeah, if you know what mode they are, you, in. you can pick up all the instructions on online. I've, I've, I've got several I haven't got instructions for, but I've found them every time. Ben Jamin's got a scarper off back to work. Thanks for stopping by, Ben. Cheers, Ben. Have a good, have a good day. So Mark's hollowing yeah. his uh, champagne bottle, but not for liquid. Right. That'll do for that. Can't say. Here's a surprise for his next video. Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> That sounds like a challenge, Keith. I'm not quite sure what you're referring to, Chris Dodds. That might have been the uh, hollowing of a champagne bottle. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've only got limited uh, chats on the screen because uh, if I get more on there, I, I can't see them without my glasses on. And then I have to sit close to be able to read it. Oh, it's bloody ridiculous. Don't get old because your eyes go all over the place. Well, I'll try, but I can't. Uh... Achieved his very thin bowl, didn't he? Yeah, so yeah. I didn't see, map, didn't see all of that. I saw the end bit of it. Congratulations it was, it, on that, Mark. In terms of sort of storytelling, it was quite gripping. Right. Everybody was sitting on the edge of their seats. It was quite funny listening to the chat. Mm. Everybody was really involved, which, which was nice. It was good. Mark saying he's not not got it. There's no chance of him doing anything thin wall for a while. <laughs> he's, he's not booking in for a heart attack. <laughs> he looked absolutely knackered at the end of it. I have to say, he did. Yeah, so yeah. you just had to concentrate the whole time, don't you? One flip, one you lack of concentration. Yeah, you move. don't dare breathe, do you? Really? No, no, no. And he's saying it's 0. 0.48 of a mil. Yeah, yes, yeah, so it was very very thin. Yeah. yeah. Did you uh, lemon oil it or anything like that to uh, no, no, nothing. slow it drying out or did you just leave it? That was left virginal. Right. To be honest with the light inside it, it was probably dry anyway. Wasn't far out, was it? No. No. But it was um, an LED lamp, so there shouldn't have been a lot of yeah, that heat generated. True. Right, that's that. We can't see a thing on the inside. No, a secret, that is. Secret. There you go. Oh, it's quite a nice grain in there. It is. Yes, it's going to look, yeah. look quite, uh, quite good, I think. Yeah, so Mark's saying he's, he left it, it's warped, and it's cracked around the base this morning. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it has, yes. Yeah. Um, Wayne was saying his is gone as well, isn't it? I don't know. I didn't uh, catch it he all. Said, he said it had cracked overnight. And uh, Robbo's just thrown a question at you. Is mm -hmm. the center slightly concave or is it uh, flat? Center. To take oh, the stem. Slight, it's, it's very slightly concave. I think that was what I was aiming for anyway. Martin at Woody's Creations just dropped in. Hello, Martin. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Martin. Who suggested putting this coat, this bead around here? It was only a suggestion. It wasn't a. You must. <laughs> eh? yeah. Not getting pulled into that one. <laughs> <laughs> I cut my nails. They're not long enough to push the tissue in there. OK, 
Come on. Well, that should have had a bit more sanding, really. I might might do that later. <coughs> That's a big lump there. Not got it. Terrier is sweet chestnut. 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 Yeah, sweet chestnut. Yeah. So I thought you said walnut. No, sweet chestnut. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll let you off then. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get it wrong. Richard's it's um spirit dye. Spirit stain. It's the um, chestnut. Yeah. It was decided that the the wood was too bland and we There we are. Chestnut two or three spirit. of us made the decision that it would be too heavy if it was blackened and coloured. So we've suggested that maybe the base and the platform takes the stain, which it's done now just to bring out the grain, and the centre spindle and the top finial will be possibly coloured. But that's only possible at the moment. Yeah, there's a bit more work to do on that, but, but it'll do for now. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I didn't do it. I didn't drill that hole out, did I? Yeah, it's, it's a very untidy, untidy hole if you leave it. Oh, let's get rid of that. If you leave it from the, with the thread in there, it's a very untidy hole. I can't be doing with untidy holes. So we'll chuck that in there. Without seeing it, Martin, uh, it could be the bonfire. <laughs> well, if, where it's, this uh, if it's that rough and rotted out. Oh, um, he's got a nice bit of timber, has he? <laughs> well, no, he's been given a piece of apple um, with Ooh. no middle, rotted out, and what's left is about an inch thick. Feature of apple, isn't it? Yeah. So without actually seeing it, but uh, I turned some apple. That I was given. I don't, that honestly similar, don't know. Similar state. You say no. So he obviously wants to do something with it. Twenty mil. Just nice. Yeah, Pete, you've got the same sort of idea as what I have. Small items. And blanks, if it's interesting. Otherwise, firewood. So that's the base. Next, we'll do the stem. It's just a tube about seven inches diameter and five inches tall. And what's left is solid through. So if you could, if it was two inches deeper than that, or if it's, if it's deep enough that you've got a solid base, you could put a foot onto it and turn a, uh, a vase or a hollow form. Um, again, it's not not the easiest thing to visualise unless you can uh, you can see it. And you just had a bollock in from Robbo. Thank you for leaving the chuck key in. There you go. You that for leaving the chuck key in. Yeah, yep. I did. I suddenly <laughs> spotted it. I thought, oop, take that off before I got get told off. <laughs> I knew somebody would spot it. They always do. I saw it, but I was chatting, so I thought I'll I'll leave it for a second. I think that doesn't want to be quite as long as that, does it? Well, it won't be by the time it's been in the in the chuck. Just just looking at the proportions there, I think that that will obviously be thinner. I think it probably doesn't want to be quite as long as that, so that's all right. We're okay. So what sort of length is that then? It's job to visualise it. About six I inches? I think it's about six inches. I can't remember what yeah. it is. I've lost my tape again. Here it is. 
Oh, it's five and a quarter. Time you, time you lose a quarter inch each end. Yeah, it's going to be four, right, four and it? a half. It's not going to be far off, is it? No, nope, it is not. With some of the modern drop earrings, apparently. And Robbo will tell us what uh, what length they are. <laughs> Right, that's that. Then we want that one to drive it. And, 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 which one? Which one, which one? Not that one. Oh, where's that gone then? That one. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. We'll go with that one. Ooh. You're coming up to an hour and a half in, and you've got 22 watching you still, mate. So there's no panic. Okay, hour and a half. Good lord. the bottom 25 mil 25 mil Steve's got, got to go back to uh, back into the shed. See us all later. Thanks, Steve, for stopping by. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Have a good one, Steve. Take it to exactly that size and take it down a bit.
this trip because it's a total waste of time. He's been told about it every time. He just turns it upside down and bashes it and it all comes out so and it's still working so it must be okay. That should fit ish. What shape we got there? Awesome. Good on going for you, Tom. Is there? How am I liking my second go? Well, after a while to be honest, you do forget your ear worming. Then you just sit and watch the stream come on happily. That's happened a couple of times. No, very nice. Good to be here amongst all you uh, people. Well, we're quite a friendly crowd. Exactly. Sometimes. Yeah. Unless we have a go at Andy now and then. <laughs> and all the time we're having a go at him, everyone else is safe. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Even everybody else alone, so that's fine. Hmm. <laughs> much longer, is it? Oh, hello. Got a captain ring on there. Couldn't do that if you tried. <laughs> Got that wrong. That may even fit without drilling the hole out. <laughs> Right, so let's put a little bead in the middle, because we can. So Siddle is saying he's not friendly. Oh, well. That's what the uh, biggest part of the wood turning fraternity is, Terry. Bit of leg pulling. Yep. Kidding. Yeah, we know we've heard different. Yeah, we've heard different. <laughs> A lot of it is uh, the likes of Robbo. Andy, myself, that are in here today teaching and advising these newer turners what to do, what not to do, and giving them a little bit of advice. Likes of Wayne, when, he, when he's in, although Tuesdays is a bad day for him. Go and stand in the bucket then, Martin. That would make the uh, leg swell up a bit and it won't come off. That's hideous. Good job we can't really see it then. It would be better on overhead if you... Sorry, I'm on the wrong one again. Is that better? No, no, you're right. You're right. It's idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, King. For your support, I shall wear it at all times. <laughs> That's just about it, Chris. If you can't laugh at yourself, you can laugh at someone else. Yes.
We were all beginners once. We've all learnt the hard way. We've all been that. Uh, oh, I can do that. That's easy. Until you try it, you don't know. It doesn't always work out the right way. Yep. Being brave especially enough to on, try it. Especially on something like this, when I, I came to it without much of an idea of what exactly I was going to produce. Mm. So you don't have a chance to work it out in your head, really. No. So you sort of made the balls up. The balls yeah, up half, halfway, halfway up the leg. That's definitely a balls up. But something like that was sort of what I had in mind. Mm. And I'll trim the ends as, as necessary. So with the ball in the middle, are you going to put a... Uh... A V cut in it, or a pair of V cuts in it, and create a bead in the middle. I wasn't to... going to. But... Well, you are now. I think Could it's do. too it's too bulky as it stands. Okay. Now, check it out. I thought about using the skew. Nah, spindle gouge. Most no, of it are sand. Good. Yeah. That looks better. It's taken, taken the weight out of it. Yep. Okay. I don't need to take those down anymore, do I, really? Besides... No. No. Well, I don't think so. Let's see Bit what Robbo says. Unless he's nodded off to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Who could blame him? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Robbo's agreeing with me. Again, cheers, Rob. Open. Good. <laughs> <laughs> now, what what dies have you got? Do you have a navy oh, or thought... royal blue? I have, yes. Because personally, I think a die will look better than a Joe Sonia's on Joe that. Sonia. I think okay. Joe Sonia's is going to look too heavy. Okay. And Robbo has just reiterated himself. He says, Andy, the threads in the holes which you've had on the um, screw chuck will actually give you a better glue joint. It won't wipe yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you're trying. Well, we try. We've got, we've got both now, haven't we? Did you say you've got a purple dye? Yes, yes. Yep, I have. I'm, I'm okay. thinking pur purple would go with that uh, the oak dye quite well, without being overpowering. But sure. you know, I'm not the only one in here. A oh, purple, there it is. Yes, there's purple. Or just do it all one colour. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, Robbo saying die, not paint. Yeah, no, 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 not paint. No, no definitely not paint. Martin's just... heard us all up and he's off now, so he uh, thanks for the ideas and advice and catch us all later. Is that one, Robbo? The chestnut I... spirit stain. Yeah, I think that would, to me, that would look better than um, darker colour. Okay. It's just enough contrast between that and the golden golden oak, was it you mm -hmm. got? It's um, it's over there. Yes, golden oak. Yep. Yeah.
It's not a very big workshop, Robbo. It looks bigger than what it is. <laughs> What's he suggesting? Oh, you said you're too bloody organised. <laughs> I have to be. Yeah. I just can't. I, I can barely get everything in as it is. If you watch on Thursday night, I'm being invaded. Yeah. So you'll get a that tour is, of uh, the work. You'll get yeah, a tour of the work. supply of uh, the uh, various lubricants sent over to him, so it's not too too much of a pain. <laughs> yes, I think it's nine o'clock, isn't it, for the invasion? Yes, uh, straight after Scott. Oh, well, yeah, that's it. straight after Scott. Yeah, so, uh, so he can see around my workshop then if he wants to. And I it's think it's a, yeah, it's, it's a very about small. eight foot square, isn't it? The actual workshop. Uh, yeah, it's got the corner missing, which which makes a big difference. But yeah, it's yeah, two two and a half. Yeah, but just over eight foot, probably ten foot, probably mm -hmm. square. And then there's the, the timber store with the sh sharpening station on the end of it, which is uh, is smaller. That's a bit personal, Richard. He doesn't, Richard RJK, is not over keen on your uh, safety slippers. Is he not? <laughs> Only because I forget to take them off. You know, it doesn't normally much turn barefooted. <laughs> they were much admired by a Canadian person. Yeah. So he wears, wears the same footwear. <laughs> Let's get taste as well. It's a bad habit of mine, I have to, I will admit. Robbo likes your sandpaper rack. That's his oh, toast yeah. rack. My little toast rack. X toast rack. Mm. No, I made it. Made it specially. It's mm -hmm. all labelled and labelled and everything. It is. Set everything yeah. falls out of it. Yeah, labeled. as soon as you tip it over. Gritty. Yeah, I've only lost three. It's all right. <laughs> it does make it easier. You know which one you're picking up. Hmm. So how big's your workshop then, Robbo? It's quite a fair space, isn't it? Is it measured in miles? Close, I think. I believe he's got a uh, electric scooter from getting from one end to the other. <laughs> no, this is very compact and bougie, but the garden's so small I couldn't put anything bigger in. Oh, Rich has changed his mind now. He likes He likes your slippers now. Oh, good. Yeah, a man of dual taste. <laughs> oh, dear. Right then, I'm not going to... What I need to do is to trim those ends off. Now, if I do that, I can't put it back on the lathe. I've got to stain it as it is. And you can part yes, them off, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stain them as gonna, is, and you can part them off. Just got to flatten off part. that. Can you see that in the? Uh, that's that's convex. It should be concave. It won't fit. It will, but not very good. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very poor. That won't go in there. That one will. Chris, you can't go up very far. He's got uh, a load of trees around the back of him. And he can't upset the rooks in them trees. The public footpath as well. And Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure you can uh, hear the rooks squawking. I know I can. Horrendously noisy at times. Yeah, especially quite when someone's big... doing some wood turning. <laughs> it's quite a big, what do they call it? What's the collective noun for rooks? So, bloody mm, noise. Quite... I don't know about think... anything out. It's a, it's a murder of crows, isn't it? I don't know what it is. Yeah. But, but, um, Mark's got to get back. Late as everyone. Cheers, Mark. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers, yep. And Robbo's 40 by 25 feet in the main, 40 by 20 feet in the annex, 5 by 20 feet in the back shed, and 4 miles by 2 miles in the outback. <laughs> Oh no, I'm I'll put jealous. that bit in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely jealous. Yeah. yeah. Oh dear. So this... Is that building or just a very big shed? What am I looking for? I've no idea. 
No, nor have I. Yeah, that's going to be an impressive shed. Yes. Yeah, but these Oz, don't forget. So, uh, Australian, so. Yeah. yeah, they like uh, like three times the size of affairs and still call it small. <laughs> we just don't have the quantity of land, do we? We do, but they keep building on it and building on it. So the, the boundaries are getting closer and closer and tighter. Look at the millions yeah. of acres they've got. Yeah. There's plenty up north, up the Midlands, where they could build and put uh, put in infrastructure in, but uh, no, build down on the south. We're gradually sinking down here. London is literally, apparently. Yeah. Saw a programme the other night talking about the Thames Barrier. And London is actually physically sinking. It has been since the Ice Age. I've got to lift that, that, is it? Another two foot to be safe or something, did I read? There's, a, there's some work to be done on it, certainly. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's moving very slowly. So it's been going since the Ice Age. So, with the weight of the ice came off it. Rob was on, Rob was on half an acre. That's small for an Aussie patch, isn't it, Robbo? I feel almost sorry for him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on a third of an acre. I measure mine in square inches. <laughs> yeah, that's something like, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's just enough colour. Doesn't want any more, does it? No, no without being overpowering. Now then, I need to try these into the tenants, don't I? Have you not got a um, pair of dividers that you've got internal and external on? Uh, no. Um, -dum 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 -dum. Veneers. I think Robbo's coming in for a bit of stick. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. He was only getting those end bits out of the way. Yeah. Just to try it out, because I can, I can cut it off on the saw, but I wanted to keep the centres. Yeah. Chris oh, Dodds is uh, suggesting that uh, Robbo's wife's walk-in wardrobe is bigger than uh, Andy's workshop. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a pretty good chance, yeah. Nearly goes on there. Mm. No, I need to drill that one out to 10 mil. Or take a bit off the end. You've still got the centre? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I always need to take that down. Take a fraction off. I could do that. And then I shall find out how it's going. Terms of fit. That'll be alright. That'll that'll work. We're well, not putting any pressure against it, so just a just a friction drive basically on there. Yeah, I think that'll probably spin. Should do, and I'll use my little my little skew because I can get there. Almost do that with a bit of forty grit. Probably, I haven't got any 40, but yeah, I've got some six. I say that I might have actually, but The other end's yep. okay still. The bottom. Yep. Because you're keeping it secret, we can't see it. 
No, I know. There it is. That's gone in quite well. Yeah. I quite, quite like nice. the, those two colours. Mm, I do. I wouldn't have thought mm. of it, but, mm. but I do. I'm just <clears throat> going to shorten the top one to leave room for the finial. It's going to, it's, it's going to be picked up by the finial, isn't it? Yeah, but you could do that on the belt sander or the disc sander. Could do. Or even the bandsaw. Bit iffy on the bandsaw. It's done. That's it. Loads of room in there now. Good. Oh, Robert, Robert says looking good. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm thinking. Chris mm, Dodge has said the same. Looks good. Good. It's uh, taken a bit longer than I thought it would have done, but oh, no, no speed oh. restriction. No, sir. I was going to say, nobody minds. I shall carry uh, on with it. Don't really want to leave it for another day. No point. No, it shouldn't Don't take think there's long. anyone booked in. Not, not usually, no. No, no. Well, it's a bit warm to do too much. So we might as well watch someone else do something. Oh, I'll put it in the wrong place. That's where I can find it. It's over the back there, Andy. Sorry? It's over the back. This is not going to be anywhere near this long, but... Are you going to make that into a little ring keeper as well on the top? Yes. As yep. the finial? Yeah. Yep. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Well, I shouldn't worry about it, Andy. There's 22 still watching. <clears throat> Excellent. Good stuff. Well, Chris said there's no... Sorry. Chris Dodd says there's no hurry, Andy. It's almost tomorrow here, so that's not a problem. <laughs> that's all right, then. doesn't want to be too fiddly does it so i think just a, a bulbous bottom yeah robert dolman's off he's got to go thanks andy and the earworms okay thank you robert thank you for dropping by robert yes an onion shape more at the bottom into the finial it's got to be a longish slope oh, no, I'll take that into that 10 mil doesn't need to have a gap there lucky I can put that into a different chuck let's get rid of that yeah Robbo's just
come in with a comment. Hate to say it, but that will look odd sitting on the top. Um, can you what, just offer it in the top? Yeah, I'll we'll see. To, I just need to get rid of a little bit of a. Yeah, it won't go in at the moment. No, that's too too big. Of course, I cut that to ten, didn't I? And that hole is only eight and a half. No, that's not it. I think that's the whole idea, Pete, is to make it below finger diameter so that rings can go on it. That's right, with it, and they sit different places depending on the size yeah that's what I had in mind but that's not that's too big I think that Personally, I think that needs to sit tight on the top. Well, without the curve. Without that curve, and then design it from that. Just be conical coming up. Straight. Yeah. yeah. I think if you if a ring drops over, you're going to end up with possibly trouble getting it off. Oh, if it, if it goes over, I didn't thought that was going to be big enough, but maybe not. As you an know, aesthetic. Size of my fingers. Yeah. Um, it's just me that is thinking. I mean, uh, I've warned you about thinking, Keith. I know it's dangerous. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just sand that little bit off. Robbo says it needs a flat base. So basically, you both come up with the same, yeah, okay. same thought again. I give in. You're only turning it. We're designing it for you, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually too, it's actually too long at the moment. Uh, yeah, we're not worried about the the height, but uh, yeah. Uh, come on, show us the top rather than the bottom. I'm trying to. I'll keep turning it that the way. way. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it wants to sit flat. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was planning for that to sort of fit in with the curve, but it won't. Well, if it's flat, it I'll will do. That. I'll take it off. Yeah. I'll take it off. You win. <laughs> Only a bit of wood, and I'm sure you've got another bit if necessary. I've got, I've got plenty. Oh, I've got plenty of this. Yeah. That one up on that Robbo's just put on there. Oh, that's a classy one, isn't it? Just just do as you're told, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. It's been impregnated by my yeah. wife. Yeah. My wife's made sure of that over the years. It stops you from thinking too much as well, doesn't it? Thinking? Yes. It's a weakness <laughs> thinking. I'm not, not yeah. good at that. Yeah. An accident waiting to happen then. <laughs> Terry Hooper's off. Cheers, Terry. Thanks, yeah. mate. See you, Terry. We've just hit two hours there, Andy. Good Lord. Yeah. Right, so I need to take about 10 mil off of that. And there's still 19 of us out here 
glued. Struggling, struggling on. Yeah. Right, that should now fit down flush. No, not quite. A little bit more off. Right, that now does. Like, like we've all said before, guys, it doesn't need to take just an hour or up to an hour. Well, that now fits that looks better. down there. Yeah, that looks better. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do to be able to form the top, the easiest way that I can, is use my my um, collet chuck. It must be just midnight over at uh, Australia. <laughs> Rob just said, good morning, UK. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Sorry to keep you up, Robbo. Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, Chris Dodd says. Oh. We're keeping you guys amused as well, so we're all having a laugh together. And I'm loving it. Just cooking, but I'm loving it. What about it is about wood turning, but it's just addictive. Well, sometimes it's you never know what you're going to do, do you? Until the last <laughs> minute, yeah, yeah, these yeah. design changes that come along. And this is very much this is the first one I've actually done live, where I hadn't <laughs> really planned every detail of what I was going to do. Right. So, so what Tom said earlier on that he's dead from the waist down is about right then. <laughs> <laughs> Now with a bit of luck, that should It'll be a loose fit. Oh dear, I don't think it's going to go. The next call, it's too, too small. Well, they normally go down in two mil increments. No, that's it. I've run out of thread. Oh, bums. Yeah, they, they, I can't remember what, what, what the three sizes are. I've only got three sizes. Okay. Um, what have it's, you got in the tail stock? Is that a, uh, is that a cone see, drive? What, that one? Oh, the tail oh, stock. Tail stock. Uh, well, it is. It's, it's one of the ones. It's one of these ones with all five different bits. Right. Well, take, take the centre out and, uh, yes, use the cone to drive it backwards. <coughs> You've got a centre the other end. Yeah, I didn't want to have a centre this end. I wanted to hold it. Yeah, but if you, you will hold it with the with the friction drive. Yeah, but I don't want anything in the tail end, tail stock. What? Because I want to do you the got, point. There won't be any point to it if you can't hold it. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to work out. So we get rid of that. Sidley's off. He's got to go back. Bye, Cheers, Sidley. Sidley. Thanks for stopping on, yeah. mate. Take care. I'll see I you again. The, I don't think the O'Donnell with the smallest ones in will fit it either. No, that goes doesn't start to about 20 mil, does it? Oh, yeah, it's quite small. It's, it's there. But it's, it's bigger than that. Much bigger. Yeah. yeah. So that's no good. So I'm going to have to do something else then. I have to do it between centres and then set, finish it by hand. That's all. Well, well, do that do mm. what I said then. You've got a cone centre in the tile stock now. It's it's a ring centre, but yeah. Yeah. I, I that, can will drive, it. that will drive. No, leave it as that. And mm. Drive it from the other end on um, your more on your spur drive. It's not much left there to, to, to get a spur drive into. No, the other, make that the top. Put that in there. End. Yeah. Oh, I see. And drive your yeah, game, right? Okay. Well, yeah. that'd, be on the, that'd be a stab, can't it? Yeah, a little stab. That's what I meant. Put the stab back in. Yeah. Okay. 
It's all this divergent thinking, turning things around and stuff, you know. We told you you're not supposed to be thinking. You're just doing as you'd being told. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't listen, does he, Tom? No, you can't be thinking. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, been a hell of a day today. One way and another, just rushing around from pillar to post. Right, so I've got a centre marked on there, which is useful. Yeah. And this one should, I haven't, but I think no, it'll probably well, that fit should inside fit in the, the ring. Tape, shouldn't it? Yeah. Go inside the ring, won't it? Yeah. I think. A little bit that way. If not, you can always put a slight chamfer that's on bad. it. That's not bad. I'm not too bad, because I, I can take it from there. Hmm. Whatever it is like, can't I? Yeah. Yeah, it's slightly out, but not uh, not enough to worry about. Okay. But that still yeah, doesn't... We have, we have this problem with him, Robbo. It? <laughs> it doesn't enable me to do that that bit, which is, which is what I was trying to achieve, but... but hey. You get down to next to nothing. Before you... Oh, and you sand it, hand sand the last bit. Yeah. So I haven't bought that uh, collet chuck. I thought it'd be nice to use that. It would have been if you'd left a big enough tenon on it. Yeah. <laughs> it would have helped. Uh, I have used it a few times, something to be fair. Doesn't want to be any taller than that, I don't think. Probably doesn't want to be any thinner than that before you've uh, sanded it. No. Nope. I mean, again, you've got two options there. You can go to a point or you can go to a little ball on the top. No, nope. it's going to be a point. Going to be a point, he said, because it's easier. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> at, at this stage of the day, it's going to be a point. <laughs> right then, I've got so much junk around here. Nice and easy to sand, isn't it? It's not a bad wood to work with, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not bad at all. It is quite aggressive, though. Yes. Yeah, I haven't turned enough of it to worry me too much today, but no. doing a bigger, a bigger job. Depending where on the tree it was, and it can be um, a funny colour as well. Well, funny colour, it can can turn to yellow. Yeah, these bits were all, what, about eight inches, nine inches by inch and three quarters or something mm. no a bit less than inch and three quarters this, this was thinner than the oak but yeah it's uh, stuff peter down at the museum gave me right off cuts he's picked up from the skip somewhere else but he there was some on, yeah there was some on site <laughs> well, that might be where it went, then. i just take whatever i'm given very gratefully Don't think he does, Richard. You don't have a draw bar for your Jacobs chuck, do you, Andy? No. No. No, it's one thing I, I, I planned to do one day. Yeah. No, the only thing I've got a draw bar for is the um, Simon Hope threading jig. Right. Because the blade comes through from the other end, and, mm. uh, and that has a, a rod that goes through. And uh, Robbo's come back and says you don't need a draw bar if you fit it properly. Um, yeah. The other way that I sometimes do it is actually hold the body of the Jacobs chuck in the sea jaws. All right. Because that usually works quite well. And then you but don't need any fun. sort of drive. <laughs> if, you give it, if you give it a healthy whack, it goes in there, doesn't it? Mm. And clean the, clean the, the Morse taper out before clean you do the it. Clean the Morse taper out that's, if you're going to use the, the Morse taper. That's, that's the most crucial bit. Yeah. Right. What do I have to keep the, keep the revs down as well. You don't want to go yeah. much above six, seven hundred. 
with an un, uh, unfixed. No. Oh, it's hot. Uh, what am I going to do this with? Beautiful. Uh -huh. Looks like it's going to be like that shape then. That's it. Yep. That's the shape. No, that's what I, I had decided to stop at that. I'll just sand the end off a little bit. Yeah, that's probably the right idea, Rob. I'll give it a whack. But uh, sometimes you've only got one hole to do and you've got the sea jewels on there, so it's just as easy to uh, not take the chuck off. And, well, the, ch the Jacob chuck that I've got uh, fits quite nice in the sea jewels. Oh, <sighs> God, he's brought himself back. I thought I'd never sit down. Oh, you've been working. No, not not since you notice. No, <laughs> that'll do. That'll do for now. And I'll I'll slap a bit of jollop on there, bit of dye on there, and then push it together. Yeah. I can put it. Oh, no, I can't put it together and do that. I'm going to have to hold it, aren't I? That's gone in there, all right, though. Um, mm -hmm. Where are we? You're on this one, aren't you? That's that's it. That's that's gone down really flush at the bottom. Yeah, which is what we wanted. Yeah, I think the time that's got some colour on that. That will look like it it rides through there. Yeah, bit of purple on there will be there, won't we? Mm. There's the purple. Dum -de dum dum. What did I use? Oh, that bit will do it. That bit will do it. Oh, that's all over my finger. As ever. Yeah, be careful, Andy. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> she cried. So if anyone's got any last-minute questions for Andy, Robbo. Yes, because I'm not going to carry on too much longer. We'll uh, see if we can answer them. Um, don't forget tonight, as far as I know, you've got uh, the beard time 16 on at 8 o'clock. I don't know yes, what he's, he's doing. He's doing his test stream with me after his live, so he's doing what? Yeah, he's doing the live, but I don't know what he's doing, but um, I haven't seen any paperwork. No, I literally got straight in and fired this straight up, and that's it. I'm not going to waste your time gluing it together you can see what it's going to look like mm -hmm. and i shall i shall get it get it glued together lacquer it and uh and put a picture on on um messenger yep that looks or, nice or, mate or somewhere it's it's turned out well i'm quite pleased with that i think the proportions are not not bad it, uh, has the type of plate that fix in the chat c jewels Yes, it, um, it's a conversion drive, Lawrence. Through um, you can get one or two more taper from uh, Axminster. Yeah, Ben bought one. And if you uh, you can put whatever Morse taper you want in them. That that's all it is. Yeah. And the so back of a, it, and the, an the externally Morse, driven Morse taper just fits in there. 
and this is designed to fit into the sea jaws. So you very can simple. Put but it saves you taking your chuck. It's got a more taper on it. Yeah, absolutely. But it saves you taking your chuck off every time you want to put a, a, a step center in or whatever, or the drill, whatever, any anything like that. It's it's there. And also because it comes out, it's easy to keep clean because you can see what state it's in, mm. which well, normally you can't they, very easily. I don't have sea jewels out in Oz. Um, no, I don't know what oh, the right. equivalent of yours would be. No, I mean that. It just wants something that will grip. Mm. And that grips that not is. only in the sea jewels; it also grips in the gripper jewels. The That's right. Uh, Medium-sized gripper jaws, Six, sixty mil diameter. Yeah, that plate. So, so it's it's not it's not a, an outrageous one to try and grip in a, in a chuck, um, but this is specifically designed around the the axements, the sea jaws, which is uh, it's all very splendid. Okay, any other questions? There's none come in before I go and lie down in a darkened room with a <laughs> a very large scotch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take them off. My eyes were safe. Yeah. Oh. Right. Okay. Well, if that's it, fifty mil jewels. Yeah, they um, designed to grip around about fifty mil. Yeah, sixty is 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 the uh, isn't that the perfect size of fifty nine or sixty? Isn't it? Is the perfect is the size, perfect diameter for. Yeah. Um, for a 10 an external grip yeah yeah and it's 71 i think isn't it for the internal grip expansion grip oh, i don't know i very rarely I use them. i can't remember now yeah well i can tell you because it's it's a, these um ring centers ring face plates are designed for that aren't they 68 hmm. so 60 60 mil external 68 internal Robo saying he doesn't have the plates that fit. Yeah, okay. it's, it's probably with his international stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, again, Robo, it probably wouldn't be too much of an issue to get um, a local engineer to uh, machine one up. Yeah, or have a friend in this country who gets you on and post it to you. Mm. Good one, Andy. Sorry you had to sweat for a couple of hours, right. but if you'd have your finger out, you'd have been okay, you see. Yeah, I know, I know. If you, I'd have known what I was doing. Out, yeah. If I was known what I was doing before I started, it might have been better. But hey, yeah. it's, it's all right. We got there. Mm. We got there. Talk about a oh, baptism yeah. of fire for Tom. He's had yes. to sit there and lose two and a quarter hours to anyway, let's let's say goodbye to the chat then. Jolly nice to see you all along. Oh, there's my glasses. I knew I put them down somewhere. Tricky now. I've got two pairs, isn't it? Mm. Oh, that's better. There's a handsome guy on there. Oh, no, it's me. <laughs> I didn't cover my keyboard, but it's all right. That hasn't been, hasn't yeah, that been come up. had we, been, been noticed. Yeah, but it hasn't been flying around too much, so. No. no Robbo says he does uh, proper turning. <laughs> he would do, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. but, uh, no, anyway, thank you, Douglas. Bye, Oscar. Thank you. Any comments? Post them underneath of the uh, video when it goes up online later on today or tomorrow, depending how yep. quick uh, yep. YouTube get their finger out. Mm -hmm. I try and mm. reply to them all when I when mm. I notice. Them. Thinks I, yeah, Richard thinks I deserve a cup of tea. Well, it would be a cup of coffee, but yeah, absolutely. Mm. And I, I must say thank you to Robbo and Chris. They've uh, helped out with a few decisions, particularly Robbo. Yes, thank you, Robbo. It's really nice. Um, he says, good job on the fly, Andy. Thank you. It was rather on the fly. Seen <laughs> of the pants job that was. But, so, but we got there. We got there. One day you'll have to come in as a, as a worm, Robbo. One day. I don't speak Australian though, mate, so you'd have to find someone else. Yeah, that'd be a struggle, wouldn't it? <laughs> I, say, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't understand what he's saying, but you know what the hell. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be fun. Good. Okie doke. I think I'm <clears throat> I'm losing my voice.
I think I shall press the button. Thank you very much, all of you, for coming, particularly the however many it is that are left, which I don't have the information in front of me. Uh, it is 14. 14. 14. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. It's like the bitter end. Thank you very yeah. much. And see you all again soon. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Bye yeah. for now. And yeah, I think Keith's yeah. gone through who's on Thursday and things, haven't you? Uh, Scott's so on Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, Scott, followed by Rich's um, live. And then at nine o'clock, it's my invasion. And I think that's far enough to go, really. Good. I can't remember okay. anymore, so it'll have to be. <laughs> Look nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Cheers, everybody.